the function or, uh, of an occupational therapist is to create the opportunity for the individuals to achieve or to meet whatever goals or dreams that a person would want to achieve. Hi, my name is EJ and I'm the therapy team leader here at Directions Disability Support Services. Um, I studied the Graduate Entrance Masters of Occupational Therapy at Curtin University. I would normally come to work at about 9 o'clock. I'll come in, grab myself a coffee, sit down and check my emails. And then I would go outside driving to my sessions. We're on the way to see Matt today. He's a 42-year-old man who um, has a traumatic brain injury. And what we're going to work on is to develop his um, independence living skills. How's Matt been the last few days? Oh, fantastic. Good. Yeah. How have you been? Yeah, I've been good. We work with people with physical disability, mental, intellectual, but we don't focus on the person's disability. Our aim is to look at the person and then analyse their surrounding or their environment and do whatever we can to maximise the person's fullest potential. Ready? <laughs> Ethan goes to school and he's very different at school compared to how he is at home. There are lots of different social skills that he needs to develop at school. Do you like that feeling? I love it too. I was looking at the way he was moving and how he would react towards um, what I was doing to him. You know what I'm doing now. And that just provides some a really rich information for me to go, okay, so now I know this is his profile and how can I modify the environment to make it easier for Ethan to attend in class, attend at home. With Aziza, today we were going to Coburn Arc so that she can go to hydrotherapy with a physiotherapist. I showed the spot workers how to put the sling on Aziza. Now we're going down very quick. Okay. And how we can assist Aziza safely from her wheelchair to the change table, onto the sling and hoist and into the water. As an occupational therapist, we work quite intensively with the person. We also work with the person's formal and informal support. Their family members, teachers, support workers. I have been in disability support for uh, almost three and a half years now, and I love it. So I love working across with different like people, different disability, different ages, and that's I suppose what motivates me to come to work every day.